<clears throat> hey guys, sorry, this is just a re-upload uh, from my last video when I forgot to say something. Um, let me just bring all these back in, not this one, because uh, I need to show you something that's really important. Um, so after you've downloaded everything right and you've georeferenced them, by which I mean you've right-clicked them, you've done edit metadata, then OK, that's georeferencing. So now each one of these, right, they're all, uh, th their location is set. So that's all fine. And um, before you can make your stacked file, which will look something like this, which is a compilation of all of them, and then you can make uh, your other stacks. Uh, move it. Yeah, before you go in and do this, um, also, I should also say, uh, at the final point, you'll see that it might just say like one layer, one band. That's actually all of them. So you just need to go up to uh, Data Manager, and then they're actually all there. Then you can just select whatever you want to make a visible wavelength, the infrared, whatever it is we want to do. But anyway, after you've georeferenced these right, what you have to do is you have to go to band math, and then you have to type in uh, an expression, float b1. Um, this should be the same for you, I'd imagine, unless you're using a different satellite, but this is what you do for Sentinel-2 anyway. Um, then you do 10,000. If you go to the USGS website where you've downloaded it, um, you'll see like the image, right? And then beneath that, you'll see all the data in uh, in this table for your image um, in the email that, that you get. Um, so if you scroll down, if you control F the word quantification, um, then you'll find the quantification value. So for example, mine is 10,000. So all I have to do is just do float B1 10,000. And then all I have to do is I just have to find um, I just have to find uh, my B1, which corresponds to these ones over here to the left. So I just do B1, and then I just want to export it to some location. And so you want to do this for every single band. And so if I was doing the, the next band, the following band, I would do B1 again. This time I would just get rid of the 1 and do B2. And then I would also find uh, corresponding over here to the left. You find B2, you click on the square. Or you can do press map variable and just find it if I do that. And then you just do choose and save it on location. And so once you've exported uh, all of these, so this first one, the first step that I showed you in my last video, that was georeferencing. The second one, uh, you can think of it as geometric corrections without using the, the tire points. Um, and then the second step is using band math, which is um, radiometric corrections. So think of this one as geometric corrections, and this one as radiometric corrections. And then uh, once you've done all of these and you've got all your uh, Bs out, uh, blah, 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 where is it? I'll just show you. Um, so band math, I just make a folder called band math. Uh, am I in open? I have no idea. So just bring in all your thingamajigs, right? Bring them all in. Can I even file open? Oh, I was in the wrong bloody thing, that's why. Right, yeah, so bring them all in, right? Bring in all your HDRs. Well, they'll they'll be um, over here when you make them anyway. You won't have to drag them in. Um, so I have all my bands that I made, right? And then you can go down to uh, layer stacking. Then go down to layer stacking, import all of your bands, which are now geometrically and then radiometrically corrected, you can do that and reorder them. And so you want to make sure that in the reorder that this is correct, so 1 is to 1, 2 is to 2. And if you want to move it, you just um, hold down left click and you can move it. You can see 2 is here and 1 is down here. So just hold down left click and you can reorder them in the correct direction. You just hit OK, and then you just want to uh, change these if you need to, if they're incorrect, which they shouldn't be. These should all be fine. You should not need to touch this. Um, then you just go to enter output file name, so you just select a location. And then just like that, uh, all the stacks uh, go away. All the stacks will be um, together and it will just appear as land, uh, sorry, layer band one. Um, and so yeah, as I said, all the bands are actually here, even though band one is the only one that comes up. You can go up to data manager and you can get out to the colors that you need, the wavelengths that you need. And then, uh, for example, I can show um, visible wavelengths, which is this one. Uh, yeah, so that's everything. That's how you do. If you're downloading an image from Sentinel or Landsat, that's what you do.
Yeah, so view, uh, view metadata, edit metadata, OK. That's You do that for all of them. That's geometric fractions. And then you do the band math for all of them. You do float B1 divided by 10,000 for Sentinel. Find the quantification value. The quantification value is what you'll be sub retracting it by, subtracting it by. Um, yeah, so do divide by the by the quantification value. In my case, it's 10,000. And you, you do that for every single band. Each time you change it from float B1 to float B2, then to float B3, blah, 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 blah. And every time you do that, um, you should be um, importing something different. Float B1, bracket, bracket, uh, 10,000. Yep, do that and find the corresponding one over here to the left. So it should be like T56J, blah, 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 ending in B01JP2. You press that little square. And you do that for every single one of these. Each time you change this from B1 to B2, and each time uh, that you're selecting one of these boxes corresponding to that, you should be also selecting the correct one which corresponds to it. So float B1, I found B1. If I did float B2, then I would have to find uh, float B2, which is around here somewhere. Uh, so yeah, float B9, for example. If I was doing float B1, float B9, then I would find float B9. And then you layer stack all those to get your stacked file. Great, so I hope that clears everything up. Sorry about that problem from my last video when I forgot to do that major important thing. But anyway, good luck.